The vast majority of us drink it, we all have our own relationship with it, but just how does alcohol affect us, especially when we get behind the wheel of a car? Each time we drink, our body must process the alcohol we consume, a journey that starts at our lips and ends when all the alcohol has gone from our system. The first step in this process is absorption. After being swallowed, the alcohol travels to the stomach. Some of the alcohol immediately goes straight through our stomach wall and into our bloodstream. The rest of the alcohol travels to the small intestine. Here the alcohol is absorbed more quickly into the bloodstream than from the stomach. This is referred to as BAC, or blood alcohol concentration. The speed at which we absorb alcohol into our bloodstream can be affected both by how quickly we drink and the amount of food we've eaten. Food can help slow down the absorption process and reduce our level of intoxication. But it's important to note that if you've eaten food, the alcohol you drink will be present in your body for longer, and you may stay over the legal driving limit for longer. We've seen how alcohol affects the organs and cells in our bodies, but how does this impact on the way we drive? The very presence of alcohol may be a factor in the decision to drive in the first place. That's because our brain's ability to make an accurate assessment of risk will be severely limited. Once you're in the car, your inability to make sensible decisions could also increase the likelihood of a collision, either through excess or inappropriate speed or risky driving behavior. Your spatial awareness will also be impacted. That's your ability to judge distance, negotiate gaps, and tell the speed of your own vehicle or that of another. Alcohol can affect us in different ways depending on our mood or state of mind at the time of drinking. If we're happy and content, it can heighten our good feeling. But the flip side is that drinking when we're in a low mood, feeling victimized, or in the aftermath of receiving bad news, can lead to severe depression and in extreme cases, suicidal thoughts or actions. The brain has to communicate with the body's motor neurons to allow us to move and function properly. After a few drinks, we lose our hand-eye coordination. When driving, this can mean we fail to coordinate movements when changing gear, steering, or indeed braking. Because our brain helps us distinguish the direction of sound, our hearing also becomes impaired in the presence of alcohol. Sight is our most important sense when it comes to driving, and what we see is influenced greatly by alcohol. Intoxication slows down our eyes' ability to respond. This can inhibit our ability to distinguish colors and cause blurred vision or even temporary blindness. Utilizing vision distorting lenses, vertex goggles simulate the effects of alcohol consumption on the body. Five different breath alcohol concentration BAC configurations detect BAC levels ranging from 0.04 to extremely high impairment at 0.35. These goggles are a perfect tool for school or community drug and alcohol awareness programs. Goggles are in five different BAC configurations, a drug impairment, a marijuana impairment, a sleep deprivation and a goggle to simulate a red eye. Vertex impairment goggles are the most affordable and the finest goggles on the market. Vertex goggles simulate effects of impairment, including reduced alertness, slowed reaction time, confusion, visual distortion, alteration of depth and distance perception, reduction of peripheral vision, poor judgment and decision making, double vision and lack of muscular coordination.
wearing vertex goggles will create awareness on the effect of alcohol consumption on the body, which we can, wear it and walk on a straight line will gives you the feel, as you consumed. For some people, impairment might result from, as little as one alcoholic drink. Impairment can also result from combining alcohol, with prescription medication. Using illegal drugs can also be impairing, with no BAC level even present. For the average person consuming alcohol under average circumstances, the vertex impairment goggles represent a BAC level of approximately 0.08, 0.15.